This is why you come to the rainy in the spring. Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Sitting here at the editing desk working on these sturgeon videos. The ice went out pretty quickly this year. It kind of cut short our pike tip-up fishing trip. If you haven't checked those videos out, go back and check them out. All right, so I wanted to get on the Rainy River. I called up to Baudette Marshall at Lake Road Lodge and said, hey, I want to come up there and go sturgeon fishing. So I loaded up, got my boat ready, went up to Baudette. That morning, went out to the landing, put the boat in the water. Boat wouldn't start. Ends up that my fuel pump went out. So John, Marshall's head guide, went and got his boat out of storage, met us down at the landing, and we got out on the Rainy River for a couple hours of fishing. So I've only been sturgeon fishing once prior in my life, so it was really nice to have Marshall and John there to kind of help me out and show me what I needed to do. But on this day, Marshall had the hot hand. It wasn't very long after we got on the water, Marshall was reeling in a 27-inch walleye on a sturgeon rig. And after catching a couple more walleyes, we decided to move a little bit and we were, our goal was to try to get on a sturgeon. So we made the move, got set up, and then this happened. camera. <laughs> I'm almost gonna lose my battery too I think. You better figure out a different camera then because it, he's not done yet. He's going upstream now. Look at this. So Marshall battled the sturgeon for about 40 minutes before we finally got the fish in. There it is. Got it in the net, got it in the boat, got it measured. 54 inch sturgeon, really, really nice fish. Now Marshall switched to a walleye rod because he really wanted me to catch a sturgeon and he was gonna focus on walleyes. I really wanted to catch a sturgeon too, but that just wasn't in the cards. So one thing you learn very quickly if you're sturgeon fishing, especially if you catch one on a walleye rod, you don't control that fish. It controls you. But one thing's for sure, if you hook into a sturgeon, there's gonna be a smile on your face. I hate catching them on light rig. Well, I don't hate it, it just, so actually about halfway through this battle, Marshall and John switched off. Marshall went to net duty and John went to reeling. She might have one more run in her, but... Oh. Oh, I got it, John. <laughs> I think I got it. Oh, 
It's bigger than the last one. <laughs> Baby! That's a sturge there. Dwarfs the last one. <laughs> wow. After finally getting the sturgeon in, getting a tape measure to it, 60, 60 inches. <laughs> Just an amazing fish, amazing battle. Get a picture. What an amazing day on the rainy river. Okay, there we go. I'm there, tired. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Marshall ended up catching some really nice walleyes. I caught a few smaller saugers, and those two sturgeon really topped off the day. If you guys ever want to get up to the Rainy River in the spring and you need a place to stay or you need a guide, call Marshall from Lake Road Lodge. Really nice accommodations, very affordable. You back your boat right up to your motel room and charge it overnight. Don't pass up the opportunity to get up to the Rainy River if you have the chance. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. And we'll see you on the next one.